is legion. For we are many. <coughs> Ugh, frick! I think I caught the virus. Hey, where's the tape? Dude, I'm just looking for Animal Crossing. Um, no, <laughs> Much better. My teleprompter is not like centered with anything. That's okay. Let's try this again. The Legion of Superheroes is awesome. No, not the cartoon show, though that was pretty decent too. I'm talking about the concept of the Legion itself. A group of superheroes that's always in the distant future, a thousand years from now, whenever now is, as a sign of hope that not only do we get over our petty differences with each other on this planet, but we stand united with beings from completely different worlds? What's not to love about that? A shared sense of community with your fellow man is tight. So, out of a deep admiration for the concept of the idea we can all just get along, and because our Patreon supporters voted for this after four months of it being on the poll, I think it's time we take a look into the DCAU members of the Legion of Superheroes. Sir, you are shaking everything. Oh my god, I'm shaking everything! No! The cartoon show doesn't count. I don't care that the tie-in comic had DCAU character design. I'm just gonna leave it like this. For most of us, our introduction to the DCAU's version of the Legion of Superheroes was via their debut episode in Superman the Animated Series, New Kids in Town. But realistically, they actually showed up before that. Well, Kind of. While their Superman debut wouldn't occur until October 31st, 1998, the Legion actually showed up in Adventures in the DC Universe number 10, cover dated January of that same year. For those of you not in the know, Adventures was a comic tie-in that blended the world of Batman the Animated Series with Superman the Animated Series, as well as some key events from mainstream comic book continuity in a kinda Earth 12 before it was cool situation. Vance, Delaney, and Boyd, the true hipsters of making continuity confusing. Of course, as is the case with many tie-in comics, once the DCAU began to expand its scope with on-screen material, much of this series fell to the wayside. So, rather than focusing much energy on that issue, I'm just letting you know it exists, and now we're moving on to the Superman episode! You've seen it, you know it, you love it! New Kids in Town is a story about the Legion of Superheroes traveling back in time from the year 2979 to stop Brainiac from absolutely wrecking Superman before he became Superman. Here we see for the first time, Cosmic Boy, the stalwart Rock Crin, 16 year old leader of the group, who has magnetic powers which enable him to fire bolts of magnetism that can affect any metal object. Saturn Girl, Irma Ardeen, another 16 year old who has highly developed mental powers that allow her to read minds as well as erase memories and put in new images. And Chameleon Boy, the wise cracking Reap Daggle who could turn his body into anyone or anything. Dang! All those character bios were pretty short, but Chameleon Boy really got the short end of the stick there. They aren't even gonna tell us his age? How am I gonna put his birthday on the timeline? Okay, maybe I shouldn't be too upset about that. There were plenty of other Legion members in that episode who didn't even get that treatment. When Saturn Girl gives good old Clark Kent a glimpse of the 30th century, an age of unparalleled P and prosperity, we get cameo appearances from Ultra Boy, Phantom Girl, Dream Girl, Lightning Lad, Light Lass, Brainiac 5, who's rocking one hell of a mullet, obviously a future descendant of my boy Nightwing, Triplicate Girl, Bouncing Boy, Kid Quantum, and Andromeda. Not a bad start. We're only one episode in and already have 13 members on the team. That's almost double the size of the Justice League when they first showed up on screen. No wonder it's an age of unparalleled P and prosperity. Speaking of the the Justice League, we probably ought to turn our sights their way. But first, a word from our sponsors. The new Batman Superman Adventures will return in a moment on Kids WB. Um. Hey guys, I am in a bathtub. I'm recording another video, but I wanted to pop in and say thanks for your support on this video. There's a list of names that I can't reach, but I'm sure Sissy will bring them to me. Yes, I need, yes. First on the list is almond milk. Cheese. Yeah. Lettuce. Sissy, this is a grocery list. <laughs> Oh, Jake Hodgson. Thank you for becoming a patron. Ty Rothermall. 
thank you. Those are the only new patrons. Ted and James had a lot of new patrons. Where are my patrons? Do you guys love me? We got the people that we gotta say every time. Robert Sterling. <laughs> Cameo Shadowness. Luke Mears. And lastly, Richard Mon. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Richard Mon 12. If you want to become a patron and get your name shouted out in every video, you can go to patreon.com slash DCAU Watchtower. Only the best patrons get every- Oh my god. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> my favorite patrons get to be said in every video. New patrons get said in the video that's after. In, in the next video that's not a bonus video. The one that I'm recording the bathtub for is the bonus video. So you won't be in that. But you'll be in the every Sunday. Patreon.com forward slash DCAU Watchtower. Go over there. We have a lot of perks. We, you, you, you get stuck. Get out of here. I'm in the bathroom. And now we return to Superman on Kids WB. Okay. Now that that's out of the way. Oh. I'll pick that up. Whatever. <laughs> Once Justice League began airing in 2001, DC thought to themselves, Hey, you know what would be a good idea? And nobody answered the question because they didn't hear it because DC was thinking to themselves instead of vocalizing in a boardroom meeting and... Wait a second, corporations aren't people. They can't think to themselves. I guess maybe the boardroom meeting scenario would have made a lot more sense here. Hmm. So, around the time Justice League began airing, the powers that be at DC figured, Hey! This thing we've been doing? Releasing a tie-in comic book alongside these cartoons? Let's keep doing that! It's basically printing free money! And so, Justice League Adventures was born. While the series mainly focused on the off-screen escapades of the Core 7 League members presented in the TV show, every now and then there would be cameo appearances from other heroes as well. Among these cameo heroes were, of course, the subject of this video. Video, the Legion of Superheroes. In issue number 11, we see Cosmic Boy, Saturn Girl, Chameleon Boy, Brainiac 5, and, um, Shadowlass? While the Flash is racing through the time stream to track down Kronos, who the League doesn't even meet until Justice League Unlimited, and, ugh, crud. I guess this one doesn't fit canon, does it? Sorry, Shadowlass, if that is your real name. Better luck next time. The team shows back up again in issue number 21 via cameos from Triplicate Girl, Saturn Girl, Cosmic Boy, Chameleon Boy, and Brainiac 5. But since none of these are new to the team roster, I'm not even going to bother with checking to see if the story fits continuity right now. It wasn't until issue number 28 of the series that we got another full-fledged Legion story. While the story mainly focuses on Phantom Girl, Andromeda, Kid Quantum, and Brainiac 5, now without a mullet, but rocking a hairstyle suspiciously close to Nightwings from Batman Adventures Volume 2, we get this awesome team shot that includes other familiar faces like Ultra Boy, Chameleon Boy, Saturn Girl, Cosmic Boy, Dream Girl, Bouncing Boy, Lightning Lad, Lightning Lass, Triplicate Girl, and Shadow Lass is back! I knew you wouldn't let one bad day keep you down. Such a trooper! We also get some dope-ass costume changes for Wonder Woman and Hawk Girl that seem to suggest that Laura Kent and Dawnstar are reserve members of the Legion in 2980 and... Wait a second, Green Lantern is on this page too? But he didn't meet the Legion until the DCAU's 2004 in Far From Home, and wait, the present day is 976 years before 2980, so 2004. And this doesn't line up at all either. Frick! Sorry Shadow Lass, you're out again. But speaking of Justice League Unlimited, Superman will return. We now return to Superman. Okay, we're out of the weeds of comic book land and back into the realm of firm on-screen canon. In 2006, Justice League Unlimited returned to Cartoon Network for the show's final season. While most of the season dealt with the League handling the Legion of Doom, Far From Home was a one-off episode that brought Green Arrow, Supergirl, and Green Lantern Jon Stewart into the far future of the 31st century. At least 21 years from when we last saw the Legion. Now, we can try to figure out why none of the recurring members seem to age much in that time, or we can stick to the topic of this video and just figure out who on the team? Now, I've already mentioned Chameleon Boy like five times and Brainiac 5 a decent handful as well, who, by the way, has Nightwing hair from Batman and Harley Quinn this time around. So let's just try to focus on the new team members that we haven't seen yet. Our very first shot of this episode gives us statues of Douglas Nolan, Pharaoh Lad, Colossal Boy, and, uh, wait. 
who is this? Hey, any clue who these are? I'm assuming the one in the back is Colossal Boy. Closest could be Karate Kid. Not sure about the Karate Kid suggestion, but I suppose it's possible. I don't think that's it. I'm looking around. It is Karate Kid. He's the miscolored blue guy in bottom left. I disagree. Shoulder lines and neck aren't the same. That was a whole new model for that movie. Side by side. I concede. <laughs> Maybe bottom left of this pick? The costume mostly matches. I got it, yep. Matter Eater Lad. <laughs> Matter Eater Lad. <laughs> we did it, boys. Oh, God damn it! Matter Eater Lad is also in Fatal Five. Yup. But that's gotta be him. They just used his more classic costume in JLU. Why does that have to be him? This is Matter Eater Lad in the Legion of Superheroes cartoon, which is how we determine that's who that is in Fatal Five. Close, but I think the Fatal Five guy could be someone else. I'm sure we had this discussion or tore open the internet looking a year ago. And in Adventures in the DC Universe. The glasses has been his thing for a while. Could it be Invisible Kid too? No! I remember this exact conversation. We've had this convo. We did this a year ago, Ted. Oh, and Shadow Lass is here. She did it. She finally made it in. A tad bit later, after the League members are sucked into the future and the Legion has to be explained to them, we get a screen with two new members, Wildfire and Block. And even later on in the episode, we get a battle between our heroes and brainwashed Legion members, which is where we meet our last Legion member for this episode, Timberwolf. Of course, by the time things wrap up, Green Lantern and Green Arrow are inducted as honorary members of the team, and Supergirl stays in the future to be a Legion member full-time. So now we have 22 full-fledged Legionnaires and two honorary members. But you all know it doesn't end there, because last year we got Justice League vs. The Fatal Five, and the Legionnaires were back in full force on this one. And this time, Brainiac 5's hair... Oh. Oh no. 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 Nightwing? Nightwing! Luckily for me, we did an Easter Eggs video on this one already, so it'll be really easy to list out all the new Legion members. Of course, the big one is Starboy. No, not the song by The Weeknd, or the album, or the comic book. Okay, yes, he is a character from a comic book. This guy, the one with the funky cosmic onesie. Once we get inside his mind and see what's up in the 31st century, we get cameo appearances from other Legion members, such as Tyrock, Monel, Dawnstar, who finally makes the jump over from comics, Shrinking Violet, Invisible Kid, Arm Fall Off Boy, a new look for Matter Eater Lad, which you could count as a new character because of the skin color, but the movie commentary suggests that this entire scene was miscolored. And there's arm fall off boy, even though he's painted all wrong. <laughs> He finally made it. He did. So I'm just gonna say it's the same lad. Night Girl, and finally, Karate Kid. This brings our grand total to a whopping 31 confirmed full-time members of the Legion, two honorary members, a suggested though potentially non canon reserve member in Laurel Kent, and you know what? Screw it. Let's just add Element Lad, Gates, Kinetics, Sensor, and Invisible Kid from Adventures in the DC Universe to that non canon section of the list. 40 Legionnaires in the DCAU or DCAU adjacent material. And that's it. I think we're done here. Wait, did you say Invisible Kid twice? Did I? Ah, oh, man. I think there's only one way to truly make sure we have all the names down. Please don't. It's too late, man. The music's uh, already started in the background of us talking. You're editing this video. You can stop it right now. No, no, 
no, no, no. That's the original Pokey Rap. Oh. Chameleon Boy. No! Damn it, we forgot Shadow Lass! Um, hello? Yes? Why were you guys saying my name? Wait, who are you? Owen, from the comic book YouTube channel Owen Likes Comics. Come on, you follow me on Twitter. Owen? When when did we say Owen? What are you talking about? L-E-G-I Owen. I mean, I'm not sure what a Lee Joe-in is, but okay. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, you can go back to your channel now. Oh, okay. Um, see you later. Wait, who the hell is this?